Morning trades. Well, US dollar was ultimately lower Wednesday session after a bit of a roller coaster of a ride there. Uh, broad risk on sentiment early saw the dollar index plummet to uh, hit a low about 102.77. But we did see a strong uh, PMI figures out of the US, cu coupled with souring risk sentiment after a pretty dismal US five year auction. Sure, saw a real sharp turnaround in the dollar index. We retook that 103 handle at the session end. Um, and with that 50%. FIB resistance level that's holding in place uh, well into play now. Canadian dollar was under pressure with steep losses against all majors in the aftermath of the Bank of Canada rate decision. So the bank uh, held rates at 5% as expected, but um, its decision to admit a language that prepare, is prepared to raise rates further if needed was seen as pretty dovish and, and hammered Canadian dollar lower. So US CAD moving high to 135.25 and looking set to retest that resistance level there at 135. 41. Uh, Euro saw gains against the US dollar. Europe saw beats in flash PMIs for um, EU, German and French manufacturing. That really supported the single currency there, though. Euro US is unable to hold that key resistance and psychological level of 109 as the US dollar uh, strength returned later in the session. So the Euro traders also have the ECB to look forward to later in the session where they are expected to Hold rates steady, but as always, it's that messaging in the press conference that uh, will cause the volatility and what traders will be watching closely. Uh, British pound also saw gains against the US dollar, uh, against again with strong PMIs, uh, manufacturing services, and all composite, all topped expectations. Uh, pound US rallied to test the trend line resistance there at around 127. 77 before pulling back slightly on that US dollar strength. So that'll be the key level to watch in today's session.